Okay, we're gonna make a yum, yummy breakfast casserole today. We're camping up in the mountains and having a good time, but we just uh, we decided all these ingredients we're gonna throw it together. It's gonna be awesome. And it's gonna look good. We really don't know what to call it, so we'll just build this with love ideas on a name for this breakfast. We'll just go out throughout the video and then at the end comment if you have an idea for a good name for this. But what? The first step, I have my uh, stovetop Dutch oven here over the campfire. I'm going to cook my sausage in. So, and then I have my briquettes going there because we'll cook the, the meal in the Dutch oven right on the ground. You can do this step just in your Dutch oven. You can put about 20 coals on the bottom just to cook your sausage. But we'll put this in here. We'll, we'll cook this while the briquettes are going. Then we'll preheat the Dutch oven, and then I have about a half of the yellow onion here. So we'll put this in with the sausage. Like that, and I'll just scramble this up. The fire's a little warm. Yeah, we'll just cook that. Once the sausage is cooked, we'll, uh, we'll go to the next step. So we'll see you back. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. The sausage is about done, so we're gonna get this off, but look at how good this cooked up. This was awesome. Just kept a low heat under there. I've had this fire going for a while, so there's a lot of hot coal. But yeah, that is awesome. So, I'm just gonna pull this off the fire. And then the briquettes are almost ready. Maybe another five to seven minutes. But we'll just pull that off. I got a lid, but it's over there. I'll cover it. So we'll see you back shortly and we'll start building this yummy breakfast. Okay, let's get this going. This uh, We're going to cook this dish around 375 degrees. I'm using my 12 inch Dutch oven, so you want 10 on the bottom. So I have 10 briquettes there on the bottom. So grab my 12 inch Dutch oven and we'll just set it right on here. Then I already transferred the sausage and onions to this Dutch oven. But I'm using a, these products are made by Camp Made, the Dutch oven. This is the lid lifter, briquette chimney. Check it out, it's good stuff. Yeah, there's the sausage. So what we want to do is we're going to layer some, just some country style hash browns on here. Pour a few in there and then get the spoon. Trying to even that out. Maybe just a little more. Oh, let's stop there. So, this will cook for about 40 minutes. Uh, this step, we're going to let it cook for about 20 minutes, and then we have to. Then we're going to add some more stuff. But what we have here is some portobello mushrooms. I'm actually just going to stack them right here for just a second and then we just cut some bell peppers but I'm gonna lay these in here like this those mushrooms out of the way they're like a let's do this there 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 yeah that looks pretty good so get them down tight against the hash browns and then the leftover peppers we just diced up so I'm just gonna kind of just kind of just sprinkle these in here like this so that's step two let's get the lid on and the 375 with your 12 inch Dutch oven you want 16 on top so let's get 16 four eight four eight there's 16 we'll let that cook for about 20 minutes and then we'll add some more stuff to this yummy uh, breakfast casserole we're making so we'll see you back okay let's take a look it's been 20 minutes or so but let's uh, see how this yummy thing's doing Oh yeah, that's nice and steamy. It's bubbling down there in the bottom. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to crack an egg in each one of these peppers. Oh, look at that. That looks great. So we're going to cook this for another 20 minutes or so. We talked about putting seasoning on it and I left it in the cabin, so we'll do that here in a minute. Yeah, look at that. That looks delicious. I think that's cooking up great, but yeah. So it's at 375, so I think I'll just leave that like so. We'll just put the lid on and we'll check it in another 20. So we'll see you back. Okay, it's just been a couple minutes. We decided to add some seasoning. So this is just an all purpose seasoning. This is called Cajun Cowboy. It just has all kinds of good stuff in it salt, black pepper, oregano, all kinds of stuff. But, and then what we're going to do is just to see how they cook up, is I'm going to break the yolk in the red peppers and we'll leave the yellow peppers like they are and let's see how they they cook up but yeah we're looking for uh maybe the name of this is breakfast stuffed peppers i don't know you guys comment at the end and, and tell me what you think but let's put this back on the briquettes have burned down a little bit. I have these extras here, so let's just add those. See, they're just little nuggets. It's not gonna hurt. It'll just give it more heat on the top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put all these little, little fillers on here. We'll let it do its thing for 20 minutes, like we said, so we'll be back. Okay, let's check and see how this is going. It smells delicious. Let's grab the lid lifter. So this is cooked for a total of 40 minutes, but let's see. Oh, look at that. Look, sizzling down there in the bottom. See that right there? Look at that. Let's, let's poke these eggs. So that, yeah, that cooked firm. These are the ones that I didn't break. And these are the ones that I did. So that is great. Let's serve some of this up. So here we go. Those mushrooms. that on there see that sausage under there that's oh that smell is see that worked good <laughs> yummy so yeah so if you can think of a name for this delicious dish comment in the comments below let me know what you think if there's some dish you'd like me to make for you I can do that uh, just let me know that too but let's try this out Mm, perfect hash browns let's try this egg look how good that cooked see that is delicious hmm how's there, the mushroom let's try it it's kind of hard to cut with a fork mm, perfect mm, kind of buttery Mm. yummy so there we have it we need a name for this yummy dish so like i said comment below i hope you like this and we'll see you next time